Right. Next up, we're going to make the battery cables up. All right, so first up, we got our battery cable wire here. This is half of it. All right, so I'm going to cut 13 inch sections that I'll use to connect the batteries up. So let's get started. Okay, now that we've got our cables cut to length, we're going to put the terminal lugs on. Here we go, we got four out cables and four out lugs. So first, I'm going to cut the insulation off of this cable back to about right here. All right, got a sharp knife, rolling the cable, trying not to cut any copper. All right, there we go. Pull that off. Now, want to get the lug on there and not let any of those little strands out. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, so now put this in my new vise, which I love. Tighten it down just a little bit. Get the cable in there. Got a little spacer. Put on here. Take this guy, tighten down the release valve. I got a 95 is the die I got in there, number 95, which isn't exactly perfect, but it's pretty good. Okay, slip this over the end here. So I put that little spacer on there so that this guy just resting on the vise now and on the spacer is just about right. Maybe I could even have another spacer. Maybe two of them, but we'll go with this for now. Okay, so then it can just rest on there. It's real easy. You know, I don't have to have two people doing this. <clears throat> just tighten this down. Okay, as soon as it gets a little snug up, I hold this cable in here tight. Rest this against me and tighten her up. Look at that. Real easy. Easy peasy. No soldering, just a nice crimping tool with a die. Makes a really good connection. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That sucker's on there too, man. It ain't coming off ever. Okay. Let's do another one. All right that up here. I want it to go about right there. So we'll cut it here. And roll the cable. Cut in the insulation. Try not to cut the copper. Yank that off. I want to get all the little strands in there. Twist it on a little bit. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Getting good at this. Like a professional. Right? Look at that. Now, the way my wiring goes, these have to be parallel and opposite. Just like that. Parallel and opposite. Okay? Take that, put it in here. Doesn't matter which way it goes. Just has to go all the way down. Tighten that up a little bit. Put my spacer in there. Close the release valve. Slide this over. Now it just rests on there. Look at that. So easy. Tighten this down. See, it's already in the right place. That's perfect. Perfect. All right, hold this tight in there. Look how easy that is. It's the easy way to make cables. It's tight. You want to sit there for a second. Release. Pull this off. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, that is nice. Okay, now I'm going to put the heat shrink on. Right? I don't have a heat gun. 
you know, it's not like I'm spoiled. I'm roughing it here, roughing it. All these primitive tools. It's like the 1800s, you know. That's how they used to do it with the benzomatic. <laughs> uh huh. All right, now let's get that just right. Wait a minute, let's take one last look. Oh yeah, that looks kind of look good. That looks good. Uh-huh. All right, here we go. Uh-huh. Isn't that nice? Shrink right up there. Alright, let's put the other one on. Ah, let's not go too far. Too far down the road. Look at that. Shrinking up. That's it, it's a negative and the positive. Doesn't that look good? Beautiful. Beautiful.